I think for all of us uh, on the line today, as well as the whole team at Beta Bionic, that, that the, one of the biggest challenges we face is time, right? So we're always competing against the clock. And it's, it, much of it is self-imposed, right? Things that we've done, things that we've set our sights on, and therefore aligned resources up to achieve have to be achieved in a very short timeline. But as Ed mentioned, what we're trying to do is so very ambitious. We're not trying to make the next incremental step forward. We're trying to make a very giant leap forward to, in fact, our insulin-only uh, autonomous system and then our bihormonal system. And um, what I think is one of our biggest challenges has continued to be and will continue to be is, um, is, is bucking the status quo. And that's what Ed was referencing, and that is what... Uh, we've been facing for over a decade at Boston University with the development of the bionic pancreas, the notion of a bihormonal system, the notion of an autonomous system, one where carb counting is a thing of the past, where diabetes without numbers could potentially become a reality. Um, we are building that system. That's what we are committed to. And we are doing it with an altogether innovative business model that's never been contemplated in the medical device industry period. It's relatively new outside of the medical device industry, but as far as we know, there is no peer uh, among us uh, at Beta Bionics that has developed a benefit corporation, certified B Corp, you know, med tech company in perhaps one of the most conservative, most highly regulated industries out there.